Hello everyone, welcome to Zero Developer. As we are working on a Flutter application which will connect with the SQL database through Web API, and Web API we will develop an ASP.NET MVC. In the last tutorial, we have created the database successfully with the name Flutter Demo, and we have also created the table called User, in which we define the email password and mobile number of the user so today we will create the web apis so let's open the visual studio i'm using the visual studio 2019 but you can use any visual studio then we need to click on create new project once you click on it you will able to see this wizard where you can find or you can search for web apis so once you search on it for this you will able to see asp.net core web apis asp.net uh, core web apis one in f sharp and one is c sharp so we need to select the asp.net web application dot net framework using the c sharp language not the visual basic language and then we need to click on the next button so once you click on the next button you need to give it a name so i will give it a name flutter web apis and then you need to select the targeted framework i will select the latest one and we need to click on the create button once you click on the create button then it will show you this wizard where you need to select the web apis and then you need to click on the create button and it will start creating the project the solution is ready and now we just need to click on the run button so once you click on it it will run on google chrome or you can change the browser i will show you but let's see how the ui will look like the built-in ui so our project runs successfully and we can see this is our home page uh, and we can go to APIs and we can see all the APIs of the VLU controller. This is the controller and we have these all APIs in our controller. So now let's test by the Postman. So first of all you need to open the Postman. So we need to open a new tab in a Postman and we will go to our browser. This is our base URL. We need to copy it and paste it here and then we need to go and copy this url api slash values and this is the git method so here we have all the methods types which we need to call so here we have already git so i will just paste the url and then click on send button so once you will click on it you can see we have received array with the two objects which is a string so how we will see like how it's returning so for we need to go to will use controller and as we can see it's returning will you one will you two and we can also add the third one for the testing so i will just add it third and then we need to restart the project and we need to send the request again first time when we run the project is take time now you can see we received the third video also so in the next tutorial we will see how we can remove this built-in ui and we can integrate the swagger api you can search about the swagger and i will also put uh, the url in the comment section so you can go to the official documentation of a swagger so you will understand why we need to do the swagger 